Okay, hi. Um, this video is about doing bay windows, and the, there's a built-in window tool for that in Suite, and in all Chief Architect Incorporated software, Chief Premier in, included. <clears throat> I think what you were talking about is a bay window, and let's stick a bay window in there. <clears throat> and I'll show you some things about this symbol. I, I call it a symbol because it's a pre-programmed thing on Bob. <laughs> you can jerk on it and reshape it. Now you didn't give me a lot of data, but you said the center window was, I think, 60 by 40. So let's just take a look at that. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, okay. The trick to the, using the bay window tool, I guess while I got this camera view here, Let's open the dialog box and uh, use existing roof. Let's click that and see what that ha what that does. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's goofy. It's not very not a very. I'm, this is totally extemporaneous and just kind of. I rarely ever use this this tool anyway for rectangular roof. Let's look at that one. Okay, rectangular roof. Fine. Suppressed dimensions is just for the dimensional display in plan view. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's see existing roof. Well, that's goofy. <laughs> Hit control Z. <coughs> I'll click on it again. And we'll uncheck that and just go back. That's the default condition. <clears throat> now, about the windows, you can see when you click on this, you get a, an open icon. You can delete it and so forth. If you want to program the windows, you click on the window you want to program and then hit the tab key <clears throat> or the next button and see the window is now selected and you can open it for specification. And uh, <clears throat> obviously see <clears throat> this bay isn't wide enough for a 60 inch wide window. Uh, what you're going to see here, whatever the width of the bay is, then it'll put a maximum width window in it. So we're going to need to make the bay wider. So let's click on the bay object and we'll just make it larger. I think when I was fooling around with this before, I think it needs to be about nine feet. There, 108. We'll see. Now I'm going to click on it again, hit the next button, which selects the window, and you open this dialog box. Now I'm, I guess I'm full of, full of poop. It needs to be wider than nine feet. Uh, I widened it, click on it, hit the next button or the tab key on your keyboard. And then you can open it up when you make it by 40 inches tall and 60 inches wide. I think that's what you said. And uh, commonly a window like that wouldn't be a sash window, so we'll change that to a fixed glass window. Okay. And now I can click on the bay, and now that I've got the target size window, bring it in. And that's about as 10 foot 6, about as skinny as I can make it at this depth. See, if, I'm, if I make it deeper this way, then, of course, that's going to make it narrower here. So you have to just jockey this around. Now, we'll click, click on this window, hit the Tab key, and see the other window selects. So we want that one 40 to match. And uh, <clears throat> the reason I don't commonly use this uh, bay window tool myself is because you're limited in the window sizes and, and your choices and so forth. And then you want to click program the other window, click on that window, hit the tab key, then you get the dialog box for that one. Okay, that's some simple things that I can show you about, about that tool. I'm going to go back, control tab, back to uh, plan view, and then we're going to do a manual one. It's going to put a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a wall break here and a wall break over here. We'll jerk this out. Go over here to the wall tool. And I don't know if you've ever noticed it, <clears throat> but if you look down in the taskbar while I'm drawing this wall, it'll show the length and the angle. 
and 315 degrees is an analog of 45 degrees. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Again, I'm looking in the taskbar for the 45 degrees. Okay. I'm going to take this wall and put it down there. So you automatically built a roof over it. <clears throat> now I'm going to use the automatic dimension tool. Oh, wrong one. Hit Control Z. I want uh, not. I want exterior dimensions. There we go. And <clears throat> let's see. To get a 60 by 40, what is that one? That's about. Let's make it six foot six. You click on this wall and click on this dimension. Set that to six foot six. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, three foot four. We'll make, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to click on this wall and click on, uh, let's see how much, I've been a while since I did this. We'll make this, uh, set it to three feet. Okay, I'm going to click on this dimension and click on or that wall and click on this dimension make that three feet okay you can see that the software didn't take me quite there I don't know why the software works this way but uh, I'll hit it a few more times see each time it gets a little closer okay good why it takes several hits I don't know Never bothered to find out. Oops. What? Closer. Okay, finally got there. Now, go over here to the window tools. So put a window in, a window, and a window. Now this way, this is, you could do it from plan view, we'll make this 60. Make six, well, okay. The software doesn't think uh, 60 will fit. He said 40. Make that fixed. Okay. Uh, one thing you can do is go up to a plan, plan defaults, edit. I think Suite has plan defaults. We'll say plan, 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 yeah. And I want to window and door casings ignored when resizing. I'm going to check that. That's not checked by default. That allows you to override the, the casing setting on there. So I'll make this 60 and see if that sticks now. Okay, good. That's That sticks. <clears throat> and the software just, uh, well, I'm a 16th off over here. Well, that's all right. I got three here. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll go back to our camera view. Yeah, and here's the other one. I want to. Didn't want to tilt the camera. Yeah, now I'm back to where I was. I want to move. I don't use Home Designer Suite a whole lot. Sorry about that. I'm a little foggy on. I think I'll just use that. No, that's not going to work. We'll just create a new camera view. And and that with this, so we'll just open the dialog box. I oh, I already set the, that to forty. We'll click on this one. I think I can. No, okay. Suite doesn't allow you to do. Shift select the things. So we'll make that 40. Otherwise, it's fairly similar to the to the bay window tool. It's a little more flexible, I think. See, it's supposed to be 40. Just keep in mind, if you use the, the bay window tool, that you have to click on it and then hit the next button. And then click on it, hit the next button to get each one 
to program each window, and that, that's basically the the secret, if there's any secret to it. <clears throat> but I prefer this method. Uh, I just like the greater control that uh, it allows me to do. Oh, and the same thing, like on these windows, you can open the dialog box, and it gives you the floor to top, which is the header height. On this one, you have to hit click on it, hit the next button, and then you get access to that. Okay? That's about it. Thank you.